and first off, thank you, Joey, for the opportunity to be here today. Thank you to my colleagues. So, Richard Solari with Deloitte. I am the global leader for Oracle Analytics. And much like my colleagues, a little bit about Deloitte. Uh, we kind of focus in three areas around Oracle Analytics. We focus on the advisory area, the implement area, and the operate area. I think the key thing that strategically places Deloitte very well around our practice is we sit at the intersection of the firm and solving business problems as well as Oracle Corporation and the technology. And so we're able to focus in on how to support clients' business needs with analytics through the use of Oracle Analytics couple of other things, you know, the size of the practice at a global level is sizable. We have more than a thousand practitioners. And I think the important thing about that is, especially with COVID, is that we've changed the way we do delivery. So for many of our clients within the firm here, it's very much a global implementation, right? So we do large, global, complex implementation, solving global problems. The nice thing that has really come out of uh, kind of the craziness over the last year on the practice that has worked very well is I'm able now to reach out to practitioners from around the globe and use those practitioners on, on many different projects. Rich, could you share a story about a, a particular company that, that, that you thought responded well to the challenges they faced? Sure, sure. So, you know, it's interesting because I think when we talk about COVID, it was clearly a disruptor from the traditional type of work that we do, right? When you start thinking about that work, a lot of times it's, you know, using Oracle Analytics tied to an ERP implementation for a back office reporting. And it was really an opportunity for us to take the analytics out of the back office and use it for a lot of different things. And so an example of that would be one large healthcare client that we had been doing a lot of back office ERP, HCM, type work over the last number of years. We've been implementing OAC, some of our solutions here that we have at the firm. But when COVID hit and you know the situation became dire with their manpower planning within hospitals and where they needed nurses and doctors and, and all of that, it was a great opportunity for us to be able to kind of change direction in the work that we were doing and very quickly sort of bring in OAC to be able to deliver on very specific types of manpower planning models, looking at very specific types of attrition models, how they were going to be able to move their workforce from one hospital to the other based on where the COVID rates were increasing, et cetera. So I think that's a, that's a good example. Just one other quick example that I, I think is important is really around logistics, right? So as we were all stuck at home for the last year, um, a number of our clients, one who's a very large global logistics uh, provider, actually changed directions as well very quickly, right? Where again, it was a core back office ERP implementation. We were doing analytics against that implementation for different business processes, but as soon as COVID hit, we were able to start to use OAC and the Oracle ecosystem for analytics to be able to look at logistics within the global organization and how they would actually derive these analytics around these logistics much more efficiently, much more effectively. In a very short amount of time, they needed answers very quickly for very specific types of things around ship to collect and we were able to sort of, you know, kind of move Oracle and the ecosystem for analytics in that direction very quickly. Rich, I'd like to come back to you and uh, in setting up this question, I, I don't want to go through all of the various acronyms of the solutions that Deloitte has developed for Oracle Analytics to serve your customers. Uh, it, may, I, may I ask you to provide a little more color directly on, on what you guys are delivering? Sure. So. You know, without getting into the world of acronyms, you know, for the last number of years, as you know, Joey, we've been very focused on building out these analytical applications that originally sat on top of OAC and continue to sit on top of OAC, as well as now plug into FAW to extend the capability, the content, the knowledge, as well as we've now built in plugins to OTBI that will help clients cross the chasm from OTBI into OAC and into the world of 
of FAW. And I think the thing here is that, you know, it's not about Deloitte building out the technology, it's about Deloitte bringing the content to the table to solve problems. And so we're always adding new, um, new work use cases into these applications. We're continuing to add new knowledge, new content. We take advantage of the visualizations, all the AI capabilities, etc. And so those have worked very well. We've delivered one for finance, we've delivered one for supply chain, we've got one for HCM and, and as well as um, for higher ed. Rich, I wonder if you can also talk about the success that you're ha having. Uh, how would you characterize momentum for, for you and Deloitte? Sure, and to start with, I don't think it's too much different than what Todd says. If you go back and look year over year, you know, fiscal year 20 versus fiscal year 19, et cetera, if you look year over year, fiscal year 21, we've had almost a 300% growth in the use of Oracle Analytics on our projects. And I get asked all the time, you know, what, why is that? You know, a couple of things. Number one, I just think technology-wise, you know, I, I like to talk about, you know, the 50-hour dash versus the marathon, right? And maybe Oracle was a little late in the 50-hour dash with the technology and everything, but now we're running a marathon and Oracle is right there and has clearly closed the gap with their technologies around analytics. That's number one. Number two, I think clients are no longer looking for just point solutions. I talked a little bit about coming out of the back office and really Oracle is, does, has, does and has done extremely well in being able to build that complete analytics ecosystem. So no longer is it the days of OBIEE and OBIA where we were just talking about reporting and dashboarding. We're now talking about truly enterprise analytics solutions, the analytics ecosystem. The other thing that you know, I think Todd touched on a little bit, which I'm clearly seeing as well in, in my firm, is the fact that when you start to look at the opportunities for growth around Oracle and where that massive growth is going to come from, everybody is a, is a believer that analytics is what I call the key hyperscale opportunity for growth around our Oracle practice within the firm. And so that's kind of where we're seeing a lot of the growth but uh, over the last year, absolutely significant growth. And I, I hopefully my other colleagues believe when we came into this world of COVID, uh, we were thinking just the opposite. But I think as organizations, as we've all talked about here for the, the last 45 minutes or so, as organizations are starting to see the value of analytics, it's not a nice to have, it's now a need to have, as well as it's no longer a point solution. I need this technology and this technology. I can get the complete ecosystem from Oracle in the Oracle Cloud. That's, that's paying off dividends to us.